Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross. I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So yesterday, my wife Ruth, who's also a photographer, had a shoot down in Dublin. So I decided to jump on the train with her and shoot with something really special. You might have seen in one of my previous videos that I found a box of expired Fuji Color C200 film. I really wanted to load that film into a film camera and go out and shoot my first ever roll of 35 millimeter film. So that's exactly what I did. I went back up to the attic and found the first 35 millimeter film camera I could find, loaded the Fuji Color C200 expired film into that camera and went down to Dublin yesterday and shot my first ever roll. For complete transparency, I wanted to lay out how much money I spent on this one roll of film. Obviously, I found the film in the attic. Ruth had bought it years and years ago, so the film itself cost me nothing. But a good roll of film nowadays is about a tenner. The postage cost me four pounds this morning to send it off to be developed and scanned. And then the developing and scanning itself cost me ten pounds. So ten pounds for film, ten pounds for scanning and developing and four pounds for postage across to England. So that's quite a lot of money just for like the potential of 36 exposures. I am in no way thinking that I'll get 36 back. If there's five that are good, I'll be happy. So with analog photography, I really think the joy comes in the process taking your time over every exposure and weighing up whether a scene is even worth taking a photograph of in the first place, rather than, you know, a digital camera lifting and shooting like everything around you. You have to be really intentional with what you capture. This is the camera that I used yesterday. It's the Konica Pop. It's basically like a really simple point and shoot film camera. You pop the back open like this, load your film in, stick it in here and wind it on. Take an exposure and that's you loaded up. The Konica Pop gets its name from this. The flash that pops up. I think I only used a flash yesterday for two exposures. I guess it's a waiting game to see how they turn out. Basically, the best things I learned from the YouTube video that I watched yesterday about this camera before shooting my roll of Fuji Color C200 expired film was that you can set the film speed on the front, on the lens here. If you set it at ASA 100, the camera changes the aperture to F8. If it's at 200, it's F11. And if it's at 400, it's F16. This camera has a fixed shutter speed of 1 125th of a second. And my Fuji Color C200 film was ISO 200. So I knew ISO 200, 1 125th of a second, then I could decide on the aperture here. Another really interesting thing about this film speed slider is say we're at film speed 100, that's F8, but then we open the flash, it drops the aperture to F4, and film speed 200, and you open the flash, it drops it to F5.6, something like that. So you have a variety of apertures, and that's what I was using yesterday when I was trying to expose different scenes in Dublin. I feel like I'm really bigging this Konica Pop 35mm film camera up because I had so much fun using it yesterday, but obviously, I don't even know yet if the film has come out right, so I don't really want to speak too soon, but it was really fun to use. If you're looking for a point and shoot camera, like this is pretty cool. Maybe I'll make a longer video about this camera in the future. So I guess the only thing left to do is to sit around and wait for my Fuji Color C200 film to come back from being developed and scanned. I had a great time using the Konica Pop yesterday around Dublin. So once I get the photographs back from yesterday, I'll put them at the end of this video. So you won't have to wait to see them. I wanted a good first frame that captured how I felt to be shooting my first roll of film. I then held my position and waited for a subject to walk past, like this one. Walking on a bit, I came across this combination of reds and greens and thought it would make a really good composition. 
I walked on up to the canal for a few frames, but none of these really turned out that interesting in my eyes. I had really high hopes for this shot with the blue car drawing your eye through the buildings, but it maybe could have turned out a little bit better, the focus is a bit off. Here I was going for a combination of yellows and greens, but not sure that this works either. I do like the bird on the top left though. I was lining up this composition with the signs when I saw the man on the yellow bike, so I fired a shot. Bit of a messy frame, but I was waiting for the cyclist to ride past, and I think it makes for an energetic shot. I found this composition with the buses in the buildings and waited for someone to walk through. Maybe fired off too quick. This is one of my favourites from the roll. The vibrant blue shop with the reflections and the juxtaposition of the cycles, both washing and bike. The giant ice cream I just couldn't resist. Wish I'd spent a bit more time with the framing on this one, but I do love how the reds are so vibrant. Just a couple more shots of people crossing streets with visible road signs. Then, as I framed up this vivid green bench, a man talking on his Nokia 3310 happened to sit on the corner. So happy with how this one turned out. Definitely a case of right place, right time. I moved on into the Temple Bar area of Dublin where there are plenty of tourists. Really wish I had a photograph of this man in a white suit in the alley rather than an iPhone video. I did get this blue coat woman instead though. Generic temple bar photographs just because Dublin. I love the colours of this blue bar bin shot that had potential. So I stumbled across this beautiful mural and knew that there could be something good. Then after being patient and waiting for the exact right moment, took the shot of the day. Couldn't have framed this better if I tried, which I did. More blue goodness on mine and Ruth's favourite street in Dublin. Here I tried to create a juxtaposition between the road sign and the feet on the top right. This older lady wearing a yellow coat caught my eye and I had to pop off a frame. Kind of regret this shot though as it's a bit boring. In contrast however, this shot turned out way better than I had even hoped. I think this is my favourite from the roll. The composition, the light, the colour, the pigeon, the man waiting for his kebab, it's all just working for me. On to one of my favourite alleys in Dublin. Nothing too interesting was happening, but I just couldn't resist pushing the shutter down. My idea for this one was to link the yellow bin and the guy's jacket. I think there's just too many distractions though to make it work. And finally, I just had to save the last shot in the roll for a quick portrait of Ruth once she'd finished her own shoot. 